Hey, this is Jason from ExpressionsVinyl.com doing our tutorial today, School for SCAL 101, Workspace and Tools. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over a few things that will give you a basic understanding of the Shortcuts a lot too, and the tools that it offers for using it with your Cricut. Up the top here, you'll see that you can create a new project, open a project, and save a project. You can also do these within the file drop down menu. You can also import, trace image, and so on. You can also import an SVG file here, and trace an image here, and access your shapes library, which is also right down here. These scissors will allow you to cut out your project with the Cricut. You just select the Cricut that you have and the firmware that's on your Cricut and hit OK and it cuts it right out. These buttons allow you to preview the images that are on your Mac. The edit drop down menu gives you just basic edit options, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste. Object drop down allows you to do a few cool things. You can group, ungroup, break apart. If you have an object that is all one object and you want to edit it, break it apart and it will allow you to edit the smaller parts. If you have multiple objects that you would like to change the size and do it all in scale, you can group them, change the size, and then ungroup them. Um, a few of these other menus we'll go over at a later date. Text allows you to change the font size and style, and if you'd like to have a font on your computer that you want to load, you can do that here as well. Cutter allows you to change your mat size, whichever size you may be working with. And the window drop down menu let you deal with layers. Layers are over here as well. Um, we'll go over those later. They're uh, quite handy, but a little bit advanced for what we're doing today. Uh, workspace is something that we'll show you right now. That allows you to change your workspace to how you like it. I don't like mine the way that it is when I open it up like this. I'm going to Move this, make that wider. This area is your mat. The arrow is the direction that will go into your cricket. Um, and I like to have more visibility of my mat than anything else. So we're going to make these just a little bit smaller here. Bring this over. These are your shapes, like we said, and these are your letters right here. Again, you can change the size and font up in text. Bring the tools over. Put them right there. Get the most out of our space here. Bring that down so that we can see more of the mat. Now, at this point, if you like your setup like this, or however you would like to have it, go into Window workspace and save workspace. Now I already have mine called my workspace, so we'll call this my workspace one. And we'll save, hit OK. Now if you come up here when you open shortcuts a lot and go to workspace, my workspace one, it will bring you to the workspace that you have. If you want to go back, go to just basic go to advanced which is quite similar except it just brings in this layer menu again that we'll go over later or go back to my workspace one and it's just how we have it. that's all we're going to be doing for today so thanks for watching